in studio with me, I've got Swigga. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Really, really well. Accompanied on the guitar. I love it. I love it when you bring guitar. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. On the guitar, please introduce your guitarist. Uh, he's called Fred. Fred. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much for coming. So if you just tuned in, remember that you'll be able to catch this on uh, all our social mediums in a just a little while, as soon as my videographer of the day is able to package it and put it up. Swiga, yes. let's talk about, first of all, I think your voice is really, really sultry. Oh, thank I you. I can't <laughs> wait to hear you sing. Thank you. I, I have an idea of what your voice sounds singing, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she did the ooh. <laughs> when did you get started in music? Or when did you identify your passion for singing? Um, I've always, I've always been singing, actually. I started when I was so young. Actually, my older sister used to come from school and, tell, and, and, and kept telling me, we have a song to learn, we have a song to learn. <laughs> and we used to sing gospel at that time because uh -huh. I have grown up with a very conservative family. And then I actually discovered I, I loved doing that so much. So I ended up doing it most of the time. Yeah, so it's a passion that grew. And From like primary or secondary school? Um, what do you say? I mean, we like used to eight. we used to sing. My 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 father was a minister, so when we were children and he'd go and, and minister in places, we always went and sang in those crusades and churches and no all way. that. Yeah, that's a fantastic place to start. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so you know about pressure then. Yes. Do you get stage fright? Yeah, I do. It, uh, stage fright is always there, which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because again, mm -hmm. it reminds me that this is always gonna get me excited, which is phenomenal for me but when it's bad that means I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget my lyrics I'm going to be nervous and all that but I've, I've managed to walk through stage stage fright okay yes what is the songwriting process like for you songwriting mm -hmm. it's actually very difficult for me because I write from a very personal experience most of like so far in my musical journey I've been writing from my personal experiences and I I expect Obviously, with time, I'm going to evolve and write, write about anything. But um, I have this album coming out by the end of the year, and it's called "Who Broke Her Heart," and it's a heartbreak album, obviously because of the song. Is it so, from personal experience? <laughs> yes, it's from personal experience. Many personal experiences, not just one guy. So, um, so writing a song entails me diving into the emotion, and I usually write the melody of the song, and then now. I get a guitarist or my musician. I play with a band called The Movement and Motoria is my music director. So I will just sing the song and then he'll write the music, the, the, yeah, the musical element about it. So, you know, when we listen to it, are we going to go through different steps of heartbreak? Is there going to be a song that at least makes us feel like everything is going to be fine? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, <laughs> because everything is fine right now. So okay, I, I'm, I'm not a heartbroken is, girl. <laughs> is that how you were able to write it? Because you're feeling better? Or was it therape therapeutic for you? I write it in the moment. Like every every single song I've written is because this happened at this moment. So when I go home and I'm there crying my heart out, I just, I take up, because writing is always my go-to. I'm more of a songwriter than a singer. Even when I'm trying to go but through situations. So well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. When I'm trying to go through situations, writing, I write in prose form. So sometimes it's going to be in song form. Sometimes it's going to be in prose form or in poetry, whatever. So it's always a therapy for me. Wow. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. That's very beautiful. Okay, what's the last song that you're going to go The last with? song is called Liar. I actually just released it, I think, about a month ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to play the acoustic. And you guys go on my social media and check out for that song and, you know, play it on YouTube and tweet about it and tweet about <laughs> my tickets for oh, Koroga somebody, Festival. Somebody's already starting. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> there is hope. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play Liar. You are a liar, a lying storyteller. You are a liar, a lying storyteller. When you won't go, 
ulisema utanipenda hadi mwisho sitolia and you will love me till the end of the earth and i was the star and every day you played me so well kunicheza kesha iri a beautiful story it was up for your glory oh you said i'm the only one for you na ukasema unanipenda na shindwe ni vipi ni nini nilikosea penzi you are a liar a lying storyteller Storyteller, you are a liar, a lying storyteller. When you won't go, the same thing you say to me, you go ahead and say to her no. The same way you came and touched me, you went and touched her too no. The same way you look at me, you go ahead and look at her no, Mr. Storyteller. And I can see right through your dirty lies. I can see right through your dirty lies. I can see right through your many stories. I know the truth. Yeah. You are a liar. Liar, 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 a lying storyteller. You are a liar, a lying storyteller. When I'm wrong, you dirty liar. You make me wanna look like a crier, playing dirty games. Oh, you burning fire. I was just a meal for you to devour. To sound a same way, you were on a higher. You are a liar. A lying storyteller, storyteller, you are a liar. A lying storyteller, when I'm wrong, go. Yo, <laughs> yo, and I think that's the anthem. Full stop. Period. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, when you're accosted by a liar. That's yes. it. Mm-hmm. But. I hope now it's good times. I'm good. So, 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 so <laughs> mepata mapenzi. Ni mepata mapenzi. Ukona mapenzi sasa. Yeah. Yani ya dati. Of, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much. It's such a, it's such a, I, you know, that's our news reader, Yuni Amunga. Mm-hmm. And the way she's looking at you, she is in a lot of shock <laughs> because of, you know, just how vibrant you were with your performance. Oh, so thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for having me, Chow. I think I I'm really going to have to give you those tickets because I'm seeing this pressure. Oh, yes. I think I'm gonna have to, <laughs> oh, yes. To, we're going to have to discuss this. We're going to have to discuss this. What oh, I'm my goodness. Say is thank you so much for coming on to the show and being patient mm-hmm. enough to get in on time and all of that. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you and your guitarist. Thank you so much. Keep this. Don't stop this. Keep I'm not going. stopping this. This not, is my lifeline. This there is, you go. Non-stop yes. to the top. Okay. Yes. Non-stop to the top. Non-stop that's how to, th- that should be my, that should be like my motto. Non-stop to the top. Non-stop, non-stop to, to the, the top. top. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think that's the way. Sh- <laughs> you, you cool with that too? Yeah. Cool that's that. going to be All my right. mantra from now on. All right. <laughs> Put it in a song. Non-stop <laughs> to the top. <laughs> Ooh, yes. That is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to shout you out of like, yeah, by child, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, do your thing, mama. Do your thing. You're definitely going very, very far. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.